Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your weekly reading. This is for October 24th through 30th. Hope you're amazing. So let's jump into this and see what we got. Fertility. Really good card to start off with. Talks about you being nurtured. And water flight. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, okay. All right, Gemini, this talks about you going out for your to get your dreams there. There's something that you really want to achieve, right? Like you want the best life for you. You want things to work out for you like we all do. OK, like we all do. Nothing big. Um, but there is trouble with you getting there. So I feel like this week you are. It's like you're trying to reach for something. And then it's slipping through your fingers. But I get this feeling to not stop what you're doing. This is just an incident. Okay. Um, so we're going to do a general message for you. Love and then work in career. Okay. So we start off with the hangman. The seven of swords. And the ten of pentacles. So you're working on something for your legacy. This could be home. This could be career. This could be uh, an investment of yours. I feel like you're working on it. OK, it's something that you feel can finalize your life in some way. OK, here's the thing, though. You have the hangman, which tells me that you're still holding on to this dream. It's like you haven't quite reached it. You're trying your best. This is not the week for it, though. This is not the week that you get the answer. This is not the week that things work out. I just feel like the Seven of Swords kind of takes that away from you. But you can't let it take away your dream. Yeah, you can't let it take away your dream. You just got to keep going. So this is like pick up the pieces, balance out what you got to balance out, and then try it again later. Okay. So in love... Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Wands. Your love life is definitely affected by your money or financial situation. Okay. Um, that's what your focus is. I said this to you last time, I think so, Gemini. You're so focused on what it is that you're trying to achieve because you feel like it'll make your life better. You feel like it'll sum things up. You feel like it's like the answer, like it'll make it the complete package, like things will be done. Everything will be better if this can happen. OK, um, and that's what you're trying to facilitate. And this is impacting your love life because I feel like. It's like your partner, whoever you're with, sees that this is something that you want. And this is the only thing that you're focused on. OK, and I do feel like this person is trying to help you achieve that. I feel like I said this before to you. Very deja vu -y to me. Yeah. You're dealing with somebody that wants to rekindle the relationship or get more emotionally in depth with you. But you're very focused on your your money and your career and your drive. OK, um, this is kind of pushing your love and connectedness with this person a little to the wayside because you're so focused on your career or making money or making things better. OK, so money and career, more pentacles, king of pentacles, lovers and the eight of swords. It is definitely affecting your love life and your connections with others, probably because you're in your head a lot. Um, your main focus is just getting stable. That's all you want. It's like you want to be stable so you can stop thinking about not being stable. <laughs> this is really what it looks like. So your focus is making decisions to get to this beautiful life that you're imagining. Um, it's going to be a little rough. I, I do feel like I want to say this to you, Gemini, that don't be afraid to change ideas or finagle things to do things a little bit differently. Um, you're not always going to be following the same plan this whole time. So just be open to change. Okay. So I love you and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.